All right, so now we're gonna go over cutting the channel. Uh, usually the first thing I do is cut the channel. It's usually just the first process I ever do. Uh, for regular run of the mill channel that doesn't have the holes punched in it like this channel does, all you really have to do is you know you just pull your measurements from one end to the next, mark it, and then cut, and you're done. Uh, very easy, but it's uh, you know you 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 lose a lot of time later on. So that's why I really 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 love punch channel because it just speeds things up so much. But there are a few things that you need to be aware of before you actually cut your channel. Uh, so when using the punch channel, first thing you want to do is you want to make sure that the holes line up. And it's simple, you just got to put the pieces together and you just eyeball it all the way down to make sure that the holes line up. Now you need to make sure that if you have longer sections of this, like a five or six foot section, you need to check this all the way down the line. Don't just look at the first three or four holes and, and see, oh, it lines up that it's perfect all the way down because that's not going to be the case sometimes. I mean, occasionally you might get a, a bad piece from the mill and it might be off just a little bit, and that's really not something you want to find out after you've already welded half the pickets on here and find out down the line that they don't line up. So, now in cutting this, uh, the easiest way to cut is you want to cut both pieces at once. And that is because, uh, like I said, it's easier if you cut these uh, one at a time for this maybe get off just a little bit when you're cutting. You might mark it wrong. So I usually cut these at the same time. And I do that, if you're, if you're using an angle grinder or a chop saw or a band saw, you can do this. And it's easy. All you have to do is you just fold, flip one side over, put the other side right on top, and they just fit together very nicely. Make sure you clamp everything down, pull your measurements from what you want, mark your line, and cut. Very, very simple. Uh, like I said, the main thing is you just wanna always make sure that your holes are lining up, always. Because if they're off, then your railing is gonna be off and it's not gonna be square and you're gonna have to redo it. Now, uh, one thing to keep in mind, and, and that is, it's, this is more aesthetics than anything else. It's not something that is, that is critical. But say you, this is where your post is gonna start. And you notice, that if this is my post, I'm coming off four inches to my first picket. Now, say this is 16 inches long, and you come down 16 inches, and your post is gonna end here, very, very close to one picket. I like to just space these out evenly. It takes a little more time to measure it out, but I'll find out what is an even distance just because uh, it looks nicer to me. So I'll have a post here and a post here, one's two inches and one's two inches. Uh, again, that's just something that's up to you. Uh, it takes a little more time in measuring, but uh, usually the end result is very, very worth it.